Just stir it for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And Look at the colors. It's very beautiful. simple. It's very, very beautiful. nice. Very nice. And uh, we need just chicken broth. Mm -hmm. What do we have there, Sorina? This is chicken broth. Chicken you can broth? use okay. vegetable broth. You can mm -hmm. use chicken broth. It's all good. All right. And we need the measuring thing. Here we go. Drink up. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So what did we do this for? For the salmon? This is for the salmon. Uh -huh, okay. And the way you do it is uh, because you have to rub it with your hand on salmon. Mm -hmm. You don't need a lot of, you know, um, juice for this because tomato is all juice. Oh, right. So we can just put that So there's away. no proportion? Is there any ratio? Do you want to put the chicken Well, if you put broth five or? tomatoes, you put five cups. If you put four potatoes, you put four cups. I see. And it doesn't have to be really big cups. The small cup is good enough. Wonderful. And then you cover it. Mm -hmm. First let it boil okay. and then cover it. And how long do we do that for? For when it starts boiling, then we can put on medium heat mm -hmm. and we leave it for 20 minutes. Okay. And after it's done, and then I tell you what All to right. do. All right. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's move on to our salmon. Okay. And, uh, Should I bring it here? Yes. Well, that's a huge salmon. Okay. Wow. This is very, very simple. That's gigantic. It is. <laughs> you can use a smaller salmon. It's just depending, you know, to your taste. So mm -hmm. what we have to do, because uh, fish is very slippery, you can leave it in the freezer for a couple of minutes, maybe five to ten minutes. When it's harder, then you, it's very easy to cut it. That's a good trick. I never because knew it's that. it's not going to move around. It's slippery <laughs> otherwise. Yes. Oh, okay. So it's very you start always from the bottom, hold your hand and cut it. And cut it where the bone is because after it's cooked, when you're pulling the bone out, yeah. you're not going to waste the meat, oh, right? Oh, it's a lot easier. So you just go like that. Good to know. And is seafood a big part of Iranian menus? Um, or not so it much? It could be, no. But usually, you know, people eat uh, fish for the new year. Mm -hmm. Special occasions. Yes. Actually, Iranian New Year was last week. So. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, you see, very, very easy. Okay. Just very simple. Could you use this, um, do make this dish with any other fish or do you prefer salmon? Well, it's just basically your favorite. You mm -hmm. can use it with Whatever any you white want. fish, mm -hmm. you know, there is a kind of fish they call bright fish. Mm -hmm. And um, any, it's just your favorite, it's okay. your taste. Whatever so you like. You just put your hand and just tap it. Very interesting. Yeah. And that spreads it evenly? Spreads it evenly, and you know what? It gets into the meat. Does it? And it's giving a lot of love and attention to this <laughs> fish. <laughs> massage it. Massage nice. it, you know? Yeah. Maybe fish needs massage too. I know, exactly. You never know. We like massages, don't we? There we go. Okay. You see, this is totally covered. That's boiling. This has got a Good yeah. time management. <laughs> Wonderful. You don't have to spend a lot of time to make a good meal. No? No. See, I, no. Uh, misconception. <laughs> now, and for then, I Iranian food, I don't see that you're using too many seasonings or anything like that. So just salt and pepper Actually, Iranians much? don't use a lot of seasoning. Mm -hmm. No. For some food, mm -hmm. yeah, but not. Basically, salt and pepper mm -hmm. and turmeric mm -hmm. is the basic. But for fish, you don't want to use turmeric because it's not really necessary. Is turmeric used mostly for the color? Turmeric is used for the color yeah, and the yeah. taste, yeah. So this is what you do. And then, yeah. if you don't mind putting that aside. Mm -hmm. and I'm sure, I will do that for you. And how long do you leave this for? Oh, just till you cut the onion. Oh. You don't have to leave it for anything. You don't have okay. to marinate the fish. Fish is very friendly. <laughs> She's very friendly, she goes. And I'm just going to, okay. sorry do that. So while we cut the onion, we're going to take a short break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
spicy fusion there. May our tomato soup is cooking away. Yes. It looks great and our salmon is all massaged up. It's great. <laughs> nice and, and relaxed. All we have to do for the tomato soup because it's been there for a bit. Okay. So you just open the lid, add the vermicelli. No, did you they look very small, the vermicelli. Yeah, you just have to break the vermicelli because oh, you're not eating okay. spaghetti, you're eating soup. <laughs> So you just chop them in small pieces. And small pieces uh -huh. and add them to that and okay. leave it on uh, medium low and let it do its job. Okay. And uh, salmon is all marinated for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. You just add the onion on top of the salmon. Mm -hmm. Big onion rings. Big onion rings. Mm -hmm. And uh, now you were telling me earlier, your mom was the one who inspired you to be a chef. Yes, um, yes. Did you always know that you were going to be a chef one day? No, actually, at some point in my life, I didn't like cooking. Oh, really? No. <laughs> we all go through that. And guess what? <laughs> uh, when I, for a while, I used to live with my sister. Mm -hmm. And actually, being honest with you, my sister, my younger sister, Mashid, and my son, Milad, mm -hmm. they're my biggest inspiration because Aww. every time I cook, I ask them for honest critic, mm -hmm. criticism, and um, they tell me what's going on. And you know what? I have learned from your mistakes. Exactly. And it's, it's trial and error, right? And now I'm you know, at some point in my life that I can claim I'm a good cook. Oh, I'm sure yeah. you are. <laughs> we can't wait to try your food. Now, what are we adding on top? We're adding peppermint leaves on top of the salmon. Fresh peppermint. Fresh peppermint. That smells because amazing. Because salmon is cooling food mm. and peppermint is a warm food. So it balances the salmon. Oh, that's good to know. And um, it also gives it a really, really amazing flavor mm -hmm. and is very nice too. Wonderful. And then you add some lemons. All right. There we go. That seems like a very simple dish, isn't it? It's a very love, simple love simple dish. recipes. That's right. So. And healthy. And you can just put it in the oven that's mm -hmm. already preheated to 500 degree. Okay. For how long? Uh, for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. You don't need very much. Do you Wonderful. mind doing that? No problem. That's I great. will do Thank that for you. you. Just let me know.